Were you a long game user who was disappointed when the app went away, or just someone who wants to make saving a bit more fun? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new long game rewards and how it compares to the previous app. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel, we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and tool reviews like this one. Last year, after trying out some major changes, the app Long Game announced that it was shutting down, but planned to re-emerge. Sure enough, the platform is back with a new beta called Long Game Rewards. So how does this version compare to the original, and how does it make saving fun? Let's take a look at what you need to know about Long Game Rewards. The first thing to know about the new Long Game Rewards is that it's currently partnered with two different banking options, NBKC and Varo. As part of their beta, Long Game Rewards is only offered to those with accounts at either NBKC or Varo. However, if you don't have an account with one of those options, you can easily open one and then link it to Long Game. On that note, the app will also only allow you to link one account, so you'll likely want to decide which option makes the most sense for you. Once you've connected your account, Long Game will be able to view your savings balance, so it's no longer necessary to transfer money to another account. In fact, while the app may encourage you to make additional deposits, it will simply transfer you to the respective bank's account to do so. Next, just like with the old long game, users can earn coins for growing their savings and then use those coins to play games and potentially win real money. Since long game will be able to view the balance in your savings account, it will reward you a certain number of daily coins based on how much you have saved. These coins come on top of the ones you can score by playing free daily games as well. With these coins, you can select from a number of mini-games, offering different cash prizes, as well as additional coins and even cryptocurrencies. Sure, the odds of winning the top prize listed for each game is small, but I've won as much as $1 per game, although the average is typically a few cents. Still, not only are these games enjoyable, but winning any amount of money is a great feeling. Speaking of games, the updated app also adds some new play options, which only add to the fun. In addition to some old classics such as slots, spin to win wheels, flip it, and scratchers, Long Game Rewards also offers some different types of games. One of my new favorites is Lucky Bounce, which is part Plinko, part Brick Breaker, and finds players unlocking one of five prize chests. Meanwhile, Connect 3 and Prizes and Puzzles may seem similar, but have slightly different mechanics. In either case, players will need to connect different symbols in order to unlock different chests. What's different about these games in particular is that the coin price listed isn't per play, but per swipe or per move. Luckily, if you do run low on coins and can't end up opening a chest, Long Game will save your progress and allow you to resume once you've replenished your coin balance. Personally, I love the variety of games the app now has and enjoy mixing it up as my coins roll in. Finally, while the cash you win on Long Game Rewards will automatically be transferred to your linked bank account, one minor annoyance is that you currently need to accrue a certain amount of cryptocurrency before you can transfer that out. In my experience, the cash prizes I've won on Long Game arrive in my bank account within a few days. Humorously, since the deposits are typically just for a few cents, I occasionally get emails from Varo telling me that I have test deposits ready. In any case, this arrangement works well and even allows you to begin earning coins on your cash rewards. Meanwhile, as I discovered while poking around long game, you may not be able to claim the crypto you earn from the app quite as easily. Instead, you'll need to rack up at least $5 in crypto wins before you'll be able to transfer them to an external wallet. Furthermore, you'll still need to claim your crypto within a year of receiving it. Presumably, these limitations are related to the fees associated with transfers, but I wish I had known this before deciding to play crypto earning games. Anyway, here's hoping that future wins and crypto inflation will allow me to reach this threshold and cash out ASAP. Overall, I'm pretty thrilled with this revamped version of Long Game and find it to be just as enjoyable as the original edition. Plus, the new model fixes one of the few complaints I had about the old one. As someone who was a fan of the old long game before they were charging, I'm very happy that the app is back and is once again free. On top of that, the new games are a great addition, and I'm not too bitter about the crypto threshold requirement. However, what I think is most key about the new version is that it doesn't require players to transfer money to the app, and thus erases my previous concerns about what would happen if you needed to tap your savings quickly. To that point, both NBKC and Varo offer checking options, making it even easier to access your funds if needed. With all of that considered, I think that Long Game Rewards actually improves on its previous self, and I look forward to seeing what's in store for the app as it exits its beta. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what Long Game Rewards is all about, but for much more on the app, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.